Okay guys, we're going to have a little look now about how we make contact with the floor in a safe way. So we're going to imagine we've been tackled in the game and we want to make sure you guys are comfortable with hitting the floor in a way that's, that's nice and safe. So the first thing we're going to look at is something called the parachute fall. Um, do you know what the parachute fall is? Yeah. yeah, could you come in the middle and just demonstrate for us? So before he goes, this guy's going to imagine he's been tackled from the side and he's going to fall to the floor, going knee, hip, shoulder and then the last thing that should touch the floor is the ball. Show us that quickly. Perfect, and then the ball gets placed last. Jump up and do it for us one more time on the other shoulder if you could. Okay. So he's been tackled from the side, he's going to use a parachute fall, knee, hip and shoulder and then he's going to place the ball last. Yeah, cool. We're going to play that in a small game of 3v3 over here in this pitch guys. It's going to be a two-handed touch game. If you get touched with two hands below the waist, I want you to do exactly what you just did there, yeah. fall to floor and then you can just pop the ball up to one of your mates and keep playing the game. Okay, if we score a try, that team's just going to turn around and play the diff a different direction and just keep the game nice and continuous for us. Does that make sense guys? Yep, should we have a look at that? Let's play. Play when you're ready. Good touch. Well done. Okay, I'm freeze there for me. Hold it there. Did you notice what he just did when you landed on the floor? Did anyone else notice what he did with his arm that didn't have the ball with it? Yeah, he put his arm out, didn't he? So as he, as he fell on the floor, he put one arm out. What do you think the problem might be with that? Yeah, you could hurt your arm, your wrist. You could definitely hurt your shoulder. So could you give him back the ball? Who made the touch? Okay, could you, yeah, just stand opposite him. Could you have another go at doing it for me? But as you touch him now, can you go knee, hip, shoulder, but without putting your arm on the floor? Because that's potentially dangerous. Does that make sense? So give him a touch, have another go. Knee, hip, shoulder, ball, good. Get rid of it and play on. Great stuff. Brilliant, and move that ball away. Oh, well done. Okay, we're gonna have a look at another progression now. So if you uh, can demonstrate for me again, uh, we're gonna come in, just stand side on for me so, these, so I can see you. Uh, what I want you to do is, you're now gonna imagine you've been tackled front on, okay? Um, and you're gonna fall backwards for me. Um, your back's gonna be the last thing to touch the floor. And I want you to really concentrate on tucking your chin in to make sure that you don't bang your head or your head, or your head sort of um, sprains itself or, 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 or sort of whip, get a whiplash effect. Does that make sense? Yeah. Let's go then. Brilliant. So do we all notice how he tucked his chin in one more time? So really emphasise tucking that chin into your chest as you fall backwards. So you've been tackled head on. Back we go. Brilliant. And hold it there. And guys, we're going to go back into the game now and we're going to have a go at that when we get tackled head on or touched head on. Does that make sense? Play out blue when you're ready. Let's go. Try moving around, oh, it's a front touch. Oh, great fall backwards, well done. Tuck the chin in and play away, good. Brilliant, and play the ball away. Oh, well done. Oh, good footwork and score the try. Okay guys, the last thing I wanna have a look at now uh, is, this, is this situation where maybe you get tackled or, or touched or pushed from behind and you might find yourself going forwards. So we need to have a look at how we fall safely if we end up tumbling, does that make sense guys? Um, so we want to have a look at, imagine you've been tackled from behind or tap tackled from behind maybe and you're going to actually fall forwards but we're going to let your shoulder break your fall, making sure that it's not your arm and it's not your neck that's breaking the fall. So could you come and demonstrate that for me again? On that shoulder area and then present that ball. So this time we'll go back into our game, it's the same game but the ball carrier's going to have to make some choices now. So if you get two-handed touch from the side, what do you think I'm going to want you to do? How am I going to want you to fall? The parachute fall, yeah. So I'm going to, if you get touched on the side, use the parachute fall, knee, hip, shoulders and present. Uh, if you get touched from the front in the head-on situation, I'm going to ask you guys to fall backwards. Yeah, and if you guys get touched from behind, 
I'm gonna ask you guys to, to roll forward. That makes sense, guys. Let's go and have a go, let's go. Oh, he's got you, oh, oh, great forward roll. Keep the ball, oh, well played, good pop. And keep playing, and keep playing, good. Knee, hip, shoulder, that's excellent, that's fine. Keep playing till we score, keep playing till we score. Oh, well done, okay, and freeze there. Okay guys, we've just spent a fair bit of time there looking at a, a really simple touch game, looking to help you guys practice how to fall to floor safely. Um, the reason we've done that is because you could get tackled in lots of different ways in the game. So give me some ways that we could be tackled, some situations by which we could be tackled. Go on. Yeah, from behind, you could, you could get tackled from behind. So if you've broken the line and someone comes from behind to tackle you, and maybe a tap tackle would be an example of that. But yeah, that's a really good example. So if someone made a front tackle, what, what's your body like to do in, in response to that? Yeah, it could well go backwards, couldn't it? So if you get front tackled, we need to know how to fall safely if we end up being either tackled backwards or maybe in a ruck. We might get cleared out of a ruck situation and end up falling on our back as well. Is that all right, guys? Um, and how else? what's the most common way we're going to get tackled? Yeah, most commonly we're going to get side on tackled. Um, and and what, kind of, what technique did we practice with that that you showed us? The parachute. The parachute fall, yeah. That's the safest way for us to fall um, and, and, and present the ball. And what was the one thing we said we didn't want to do with our arm if we end up parachute falling? Yeah, we don't want to put our arm out to break our fall. And actually, guys, that probably goes with all the techniques we've practiced. Even if you're falling forwards or falling backwards, you probably, well, you certainly don't want to lead with an arm because that's where you could maybe get an injury on your wrist or your shoulder. <laughs>